So this is the like a uh, Fitra geometry, and uh, when you import the geometry, you can see there are some issues in the geometry, especially on the nose of the Fitra. So now these problems, this problem can uh, arise because of two things. Number one is that generally, uh, are can be three three issues. One is generally the geometry has problems. Uh, number two is that the our tolerance values are not up to the mark. So triangular tolerance is should be. Uh, like we should put some more zeros here. Third thing is that sometimes the surface display is like a, by default, it is on the reduced quality. Means that it's a display problem and not the geometry problem. So this is display problem in a sense that ICM CFD don't want to show you the geometry with the more details so that it will, for example, somebody may not have the proper graphics card and it will make the problem in the rendering. So uh, for that case, they put the geometry in the simplified view, and this can be the one issue. So to, to check this thing, you have to right click on surface and click on show full, okay? And if the show full shows you the complete geometry, then, then the problem is graphics. Otherwise the problem is in the geometry. So you can see the geometry is now full. Geometry is now full. So actually what was happening is that if you take a look here, uh, even from the from the uh, geometry definition point of view, you can see the geometry is defined very well. You can see a lot of uh, like uh, blocks are there, and that will they will define geometry in a very proper way. So no worries in this case because this is a graphic issue and not a geometry issue. So if you want to take it back to the like uh, like now it is in the show simple. Even after show simple, it's showing you geometry in a proper way. So it was actually a graphics issue and not the uh, geometry issue. One more thing mm -hmm. you can see here that on the back side, we can see there is a gap here. Again, check it yeah. through show full. And this is actually a graphics issue, not the geometry issue, okay? Okay. Uh, then one more issue is that you can see there is a, a body point here, this body point. This is, this is generated automatically. So, and this is put giving, this, this, this name is coming from its file name, okay? So you can delete this body name and you can create yourself one. So I will go to the body creation and I put a name as a fluid and I will choose the two locations so that the our point should be inside. So these two locations could be this one or this location and anything on the like our main fuselage body. This will put the this material point inside the domain. The requirement is that this should be inside domain. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not inside this body. Inside body, we don't have anything. It is like a solid body. And the fluid will be over the body. So far, for uh, for structural analysis through FEA, uh, maybe we need to like uh, make the meshing inside for structural integrity or for heat transfer calculations. For fluid analysis, we need just the mesh outside the geometry. So that's why this is a fluid and it can it can be anywhere, but it should be inside domain, not inside body, not outside, just inside. Okay. Mm -hmm. anyway. Okay. Okay. Even uh, if I delete the this body, okay, and uh, create through the these two points. Uh, sorry. This is also okay, not issue. Uh, in a similar way, if I use this and this edge and put the one material point, this is also here, not a mm -hmm. issue. Okay. So this, this, this doesn't matter which where we are creating. Even you can use uh, like another option that is a complete model and uh, you can apply. So this creates the body point in the somehow middle location. Okay. okay. So many options are available, but the requirement is that they should be like inside the body. And this will be the name of domain when you import the mesh into Fluent, right? So now we save the file. Let's say we, our file name is like a project fuselage. Okay. So okay. here I'm going to create the one block, first block. This is a this is mandatory that first block will always be there. Now, our task is that we will work, actually, we work on the blocking. Uh, but at the end of the our process, the meshing should be projected on the geometry in a way so that we should have the like uh, highest possible quality. 
So now think about the block. This is this is a like a rectangular block, and uh, this is called. We can call that one as well, as well hexahedron. So just think that we have to fit this hexahedron in the geometry which you are seeing right now there. The domain shape is like a semicircular hemisphere on the inlet and cylindrical half cylinder. Uh, half sphere is uh, like a, it's a half sphere here. This maybe you can say this is like a quarter sphere actually. Full sphere will be like this. So this is like a quarter sphere and cylinder is a half cylinder. The combination. So uh, why we are doing this thing? Because on the outlet, the flow will go. It will be like uh, going through the uh, long distance on downstream side. It has a wake and other things. So wake region need uh, more distance to dilute itself so that we can get the like a flow that is going to be on the outlet boundary condition. Same as what we are getting from the inlet boundary condition. That is like a uniform flow and it represents the free stream flow. So that's why, because the wake will be generated through the body, uh, the subulent body or even any body which is making the wake region. So it should get the some distance. So, so that the, that dilute, that will dilute that wake region and it makes it makes a uniform velocity again when it is outing from the domain. And same is the case with the inlet. Inlet domain uh, distance is based on the fact that it should not affect the uh, our boundary conditions on the inlet. So how this can affect the boundary conditions? Uh, actually, in subsonic flow, when the flow is going there, so when the flow strikes there on the body, it actually generates the sound waves. And uh, right now, because we are going to model this flow as a subsonic speed, that is like a 0.8 Mach number. So the sound waves they are generated, they are, sound waves are always at the Mach number one. So actually they, they move back, they move back at the higher speed than the speed we are putting the fluid inside. And this is felt more at, even at the roll nonce number, uh, sorry, low Mach numbers like a 0 0.3, 0 0.2. So on those not, those Mach numbers, uh, this factor will be more pronounced, okay? So the domain should be far away, inlet domain. And outlet domain, I told you about the wake region. Inlet domain should be far away. So information traveling upstream should not be reaching the domain on the boundaries. Okay, what does it mean? It means that if the, the waves from the body, they reach the inlet boundary, they will actually alter the flow. They will change the boundary conditions there. So making the simulations not reliable because we are putting some boundary conditions and uh, we are getting some other boundary conditions as a result of the interaction between the body and the inlet conditions. So we are actually solving some other case. So it should be far away so that the this effect effect of the boundary, uh, like uh, this uh, body here, should not be failed on the boundaries. Okay, it should keep the uh, like uh, simple uh, uniform flow like we see in the atmosphere. Like outside atmosphere will always be at the uh, some value of velocity and some value of turbulence. That's all. Like uh, our environment. So that's the point here. Okay, so size is decided based on the that criteria. So now we have to fit the, our block, like splitting them and uh, then to connect the mesh with the blocks to the geometry, actually we associate them. So association is a key that will connect the blocks to the geometry and mesh will be projected on the geometry there. Okay, so uh, that's the point, okay? So first okay. thing, first, first thing first, the first and most important thing is that we have to like associate everything on the uh, outer boundaries because outer boundaries will always be associated to the outer edges and the what is it. So no matter what you are going to do, first thing always in the hexa meshing, in the blocking, in ICMCF is there to associate the outer boundaries. Display points as well. Uh, displaying surface is not, is not mandatory right now. Mm -hmm. So now uh, just looking at the geometry, you can see that this, these four, three edges, they are actually, they are, should connect to the one curve here. And the <clears throat> edge here should connect to this boundary here, this curve here, because whenever you change, see the any change, sharp change in the curvature, like uh, from this line to this curve or this curve to this line, there's a sharp mm -hmm. corner here at this point. So whenever you see any sharp corners, it means it, it, this indicates that this is like a, a hand for you or anybody that we have to associate like with the different edges to different curves. Simple. Okay. So okay. after discontinuity, association shouldn't move to the second curve and other edges. So for example, 
but before that, I will associate like a sharp corners with a sharp vertices. So these are vertices here and the points here. So I can show you that the what I mean by this thing. On this corner, you can see there is a point here. Okay, mm -hmm. it's the point. Uh, even you can uh, like uh, show the point names, point info. Okay. Uh, we can uh, make it show large. Okay. And uh, point names is a vertex number 34. You see that the, they are putting the name for the point as a vertex. And the same thing, like I told you that in the blocking and the geometry, the vertex is actually a corresponding to point in geometry. Similarly, for the geometry, we have the curves and in the blocking, we have edges. In geometry, we have surfaces. In blocking, we have faces. In geometry, we have bodies. In uh, blocking, we have blocks. So four things should be there. Point, curve, surface, and the volume. Okay. So mm -hmm. point, line, a curve, surface, and the volume. So volume is the body. So corresponding things here are the vertices for the points, corresponding to point. Lines are curves, edges. Surface are the locus okay, surface is the faces and for the our uh, volume there should be some blocks. Okay, so mm -hmm. now we have to associate actually to to connect the like a mesh uh, on the corners. We have to associate the vertices which you can see right now. They are here. Okay, so okay. right now the names of the like geometry is spread. So I don't want to display them and also the they are very large. So uncheck and they will be become small. So these vertices right now we have the eight vertices on the eight corners of the rectangular block. Okay, initially block will be of rectangular block, and then we will change the shape to the required geometry shape. So every time the geometry is different, but the block will be same. The first block will be same. So we have to like uh, divide, associate, and change the shape, and so that we can get the required shape of the geometry and the, our domain at the same time. This is like uh, uh, there are many contradicting things happening there, but the, our skill would be that we can meet all these things with a high quality mesh. So uh, I will associate the uh, vertices, vertex here, one vertex. So se selection is very easy. Like you click on the left button, this will select the vertex and then it will go to selection for the point. Simply click on the again, same location. This will be like associated to the point as well. Similarly here, Two clicks with the mouse, simple. Okay. So how you confirm this thing? You can confirm this thing by looking at the color of the, your vertex. It shows you the color that is the red color. Red color shows that this vertex is associated to the point. Okay. So uh, let me tell you about the colors. So for the vertex, first color would be the black. Black, that means that this is the default one. This means that this is associated to the the underlying geometry, underlying geometry surfaces. Okay. The second color is might be the green. Green means it's associated to the curve. See, sometimes the the these vertices can may not go to directly to the sharp corners. They may go on the some curves. In that case, you have to set them to the corresponding curves, or they will be automatically associated. Third one is the Red color. Red color indicates this is associated to the like a point. Also, the vertex type you can display by default. It's a color is displayed by you can also type the like a vertex type. So, if you see the symbol C, this is with a curve. Uh, symbol is the S. It is like a with the surface. Okay, uh, for internal vertex, uh, I don't remember the name that will be displayed. I will show you that thing. Okay, so while we are going through the meshing, you will see that thing. So now if I display the name, for example, vertices, and uh, you can see here that the, now the names we are seeing here on the corner, this corner, we are seeing the name as the point P, okay, P, right? And all other, they are showing you the name that is the 
S. S means they are associated to the default is the associated to the surface, corresponding surface. So nearest surface, whatever surface it is, maybe it's the outlet, it's the body uh, itself, it may be the symmetry, it may be the inlet, depending that the uh, which surface is closer to, closer to that particular vertex. Okay, this is clear? Yes, it's clear. So now, uh, but now question is that, do we uh, need to associate the other vertices to the geometry or not? Uh, to the points or not but quite answer is short answer is no oh. right? long answer is that uh, why no because uh, the only two sharp corners are these ones so here we need to associate to the points other are not sharp corners we don't need to associate them to the uh, points there and even uh, there's no point actually is there on the curvatures okay mm -hmm. so on the curvatures we don't have any points so we will associate them likely to the curvatures to the curves okay so mm -hmm. uh, anything on the sharp corners will go to the points. Anything on the, like uh, some curves will go to the curves. So anything in the curvature, like a circular boundary, like this is semicircle. So these two vertices do will go to the curve here. Okay. Uh, so this, this, and this edge, they will go to the corresponding point, uh, corresponding curves here. So I will associate to the now second one is the, uh, association of edges to the curves. And I told you that the association of surface to uh, like a uh, face is uh, done automatically, face to surface. And so is the association of edges and vertices to surface. This is automatic. You can see the red, the black color. Black color is like a, uh, is like a global color that it means that this is associated, this edge or vertex, they're associated to the corresponding uh, nearest surface, okay? So okay. only task is that we have to associate them to the corresponding curve so that we can actually drop the mesh or mesh from block to the corresponding geometry there. So definitely the curves will represent the boundaries of the, our geometry. Okay. So now I'm going to select the these three edges. And in 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 terms of the uh, edge association, we have to like uh, select the three edges. Uh, press the middle uh, mouse button. Why middle mouse button? Because maybe we are selecting the multiple edges. Mm -hmm. So when we are done with the selection of the water, uh, uh, edges, because the vertex will only go at a one time to the corresponding thing. But mm -hmm. multiple edges can go to the single curve or multiple curves. So that's why they have provided option that you can once select all things, then to confirm selection that we have already selected every edges, then you press the middle mouse button. And then you will go to the curves. Now this is curve or curves. So again, this is like a one curve here. So we select only one curve. Now again, maybe there are multiple curves. So they okay. cannot limit the option to the only one curve. That's why they have provided you the option that you can still be in the selection mode while you may be selecting the other curves. But now it's done for our point of view. This is only single curve. So now we have to press the uh, middle mouse button to confirm the selection. And as soon as you press the middle mouse button, what you see here that the color is green now. Color is green now. And this indicates mm -hmm. that the, now these edges are associated to the corresponding curve. This curve is here. And how you can see this thing, you can right click on the edges and uh, click on show association. This will show you association, whatever edges there are there and even the vertices, they will show you the association to the corresponding entities and geometry. So you can see that uh, oh, okay. these black ones showing the association to the sure. like uh, surface here. Uh, yeah, the yeah. green ones showing the association to the curve here, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, now the question is that if what if we make the wrong association? For example, if I associate these three edges and somehow wrong curve is selected. So what happens? And what is MND? What happens is this one, they are associated to the curve, yeah. wrong curve. And yeah. mesh will be not projected on this curve from this boundary, but mesh will project on this boundary. So now yeah. imagine that what will happen. The problem is that the mesh that was to be the part of this part here, this will be like, will be projecting here. So this will make the like uh, negative elements. Oh. So, okay. So solution is that, solution is very simple. Uh, one way is that you can like uh, delete association. That is always there. You can delete association for vertices, for edges, for faces, even faces. Mm -hmm. Why faces? Uh, because sometimes there are two faces, there are two surfaces which are very close to each other. And the the one face that has to be associated to the this face goes to the second face by default. 
and the first phase should have gone to the second surface has like a wrong association. So in that case, uh, we can delete the association. Sometimes we like uh, import new geometry, like uh, some with some modifications and uh, like a uh, blocking was from the old geometry. So sometimes this will also make it confused. In that case, we have to delete the every association and then we have to make the association again. But while you're deleting association for the faces, you should be very careful because there are the multiple faces. So, uh, but you should be careful because there are the many, many faces. Right now, there are only like you can see the faces. Uh, right click here and uh, show as the solid. So, right now, there are the like eight faces. For block, this rectangular block will have the eight sides. So, eight faces definitely. So, uh, but once we split the mesh and uh, like a uh, blocking and we go to the smaller and smaller faces, they can be in the thousands. So deleting everything, like you can delete everything like from click here and select the, like this glass sign, this will delete the decision for all faces. But then oh. associating them to back again, this is the automatic process by the ICM DFD. But once, once you do it, then you have to associate them manually. And this can be a very cumbersome job difficult job with uh, like, like a thousand faces. So this, you should be very much careful. Okay. Now okay. our main question is that if we make the wrong decision, what then what we should be done, we will like associate them again back to the original curve. That is a simple solution. Okay. Problem solved. Okay. On the bottom, we can see there are corresponding curves. So I will associate. And one more thing is that if you right click on the blocking and you can see the index control. Okay. Index control actually uh, will help you to uh, like uh, uh, solve the issue of the collector on the, your screen. Like uh, there are many things and this makes you confused that uh, which part you want to select. Okay. Which edge you want to select for the uh, association are working. So right now this is showing you the like a three dimensions. I, J, K. I is for X. J is for K. And uh, sorry. I is for X. J is for Y. And K is for the Z. I told you this thing also. Uh, when I shown you the Warfan block, if you remember. And I told you that the, the, the there are hidden blocks in the blocking. They are used for the internal working by ICM CFD. So uh, I discussed about the vertices uh, like uh, uh, numbers. So numbers were not confirming to the like uh, the discussion here. So one minute. So Okay. Okay, the numbers were not, actually they were not justifying the numbering here. So numbering looks like they were like 21, 22, uh, then 25, 26, then 37, 38, 41, 42. So this thing was not what was justified at that moment. So I have shown you that actually uh, they start from the zero, but the, those numbers are in the warp one blocks and the hidden blocks used by the uh, ICM CFD itself. So these numbers are there. Okay. So, uh, okay, so uh, so uh, now you may be wondering that let's say if I move the I by the one value. So why I don't see that the block in the I should move, in the X direction should move. It moved actually, but not here in the active block, but in the warp on block because they start from here. So now if I move the uh, X, so this block, these blocks from here to there will be actually will be hidden then. Okay, from here to here, they will be now hidden from the screen. Just see it, okay? So if I move the like my I index uh, by the one, this will be like a going in the positive X direction. So this block oh. will be hidden now. Yes. If I move from the other side, these blocks will be hidden. Oh. Okay? But okay. actually we don't wor work in the like uh, in the uh, Warfarm block. So whenever you want to hide some block and you want to work on some uh, blocking entities there only, then you have okay. to like a uh, first one is like, uh, you will not notice something because this is happening with the Warfarm block. Now, if you move one further, you will see the change. Okay. Okay. So move it backwards. So what I wanted to actually do is that I want to move the Z from the upper side. I want to only display the edges on the bottom side. Why? Because I want to associate the uh, these uh, three edges to these curves. One, two, and three. These are actually for the inlet curves. Mm, okay. Okay. 
Okay, so again, you can see they are associated to the corresponding edges here. Now, instead of the like a black color, now they are uh, black color indicates they are associated to the uh, surface. Now they are associated to the uh, curves here. Curve. Okay, yes. and also one thing, one more thing is that you can see that the this was the, like a three curves. Now also the after association they are becomes a one curve. You can see it. Okay, if you undo this thing, you can again see that there are different colors: one, two, and three. Okay, and actually okay. you can make them them into one uh, like a curve before you associate them. Uh, there is an option that is like a here group and ungroup curves. Okay, so okay. Uh, like a group curve. So one option is all tangential. So tangential curves will be like a one group because tangential curve will go to the in a single selection of the association. So you can make the one curve by uh, after association they will also become one curve, but that you can also do from here as well. If you select here, you can see now this becomes the a single curve. And even if you select them, they will behave like a single curve in the association, not here in the association. So like uh, if I select the like uh, edges will be there, there will be three edges. But now this is like a single curve. You can see here selection makes a single them. This is geometrically, it's actually as a, as a one curve. We just group them. We just group them so their selection will be easy. There may be like a 10 curves, 20 curves. Selecting them manually may be a very difficult thing. So if they are tangential curves, you can group them. And there are different criteria based on that. Actually, you can group the curves. So you can select them manually, one option. Uh, you can make them tangential. You can make them part by part. So of the like, for example, the bottom part is the my symmetry. So I can put all the curves in the symmetry. And all symmetry curves will be like uh, will be grouped together in a single curve. Okay. Okay. Uh, question is that can we ungroup them? Yes, there's an ungroup option here. If you select this curve again, and they will be now again the different colors. Okay. But okay. that should that, this thing should not be done because we want to keep them so that they can be referring to the these edges singly, single-handedly. Okay. Okay, now this one question is that the edges which are here, the vertices they are on the corner, they are actually pointing to, uh, they are not on the exactly curves. Uh, this cannot be like this, can, this, this can be okay. Sometimes this uh, makes a problems, especially when there are two curves, uh, like a one curve is here, second curve is maybe here. But actually we are setting this uh, uh, edges, these edges to this curve. So, but the in the case of the vicinity, like they are, closer to this curve. And this may make them to assist, uh, project the mesh on the wrong curve. So in that case, we can actually project, uh, like we can snap them. Snap means that uh, change the direction location to the particular geometry. So there's a snap option, all visible, or you can select them by your own choice. Okay. Okay. Second option is that, that is I prefer myself is that when I associate them, I have the option that project vertices. Same command, which is here, but that is also inside the, uh, like, association. So, like, you are applying two commands at the same time. This will make your job, like, a simpler. So, select the vertex, these edges, uh, associate them to the curve, and they, at the same time, they change the color to the green, and also they rename them to the curve. Okay? Mm -hmm. Similarly, I can do the same thing here as well. Okay, now question is that what about these uh, black uh, edges and black? Actually, uh, vertices snaps, not the edges. So what about these uh, vertices, which are 26 and 22? They are okay. showing the black, black color. Black color means they are associated to the corresponding surface, the nearest surface. So first, you have to display surfaces, and especially this inlet. And I would recommend that you should be hiding like uh, uh, other surfaces, so that they should not go to the wrong surface, okay. including body itself. Okay. Although uh, mm -hmm. I don't see any chance here, uh, this this will be like a problem when the vertex was in the middle here. Now it can go to symmetry to the body or to the inlet. But right now I don't think this thing that this is a problem. But anyhow, uh, to be on the safe side, I always turn on the turn off the surfaces. So now this for this we have to snap vertices command. Use the snap vertices command. No other option is available here. Okay, now if you hide okay. something, you can see the blocking shape now. Mm, okay. 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 So, and the block 
it looks like and now from the rectangle block the block is now actually adopting to the shape of the our outer boundary not exactly uh mm -hmm. blocking will not adopt the shape to the exact boundary but the mesh will okay but still uh, we are making it closer to the shape we have okay 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 now uh, now in order to make the mesh here what is is there now we have to see the things here like this is same geometry like you will see that it's a submarine submarine will look like also same okay so mm -hmm. now the idea is that uh, we have to like uh, split the on the south side so that we can have the one block for this geometry so to make the one block here i will make the split on the upper side on the lower side uh, from here from here and also from top so i need the five splits because symmetric body otherwise i would need the six splits okay so, Otherwise, I wouldn't because there are, there are six sides of the any any 3D geometry. Uh, but this is symmetric geometry, so we have the, actually the five sides. Okay. So I would be making the splits here like randomly. Randomly, but I will adjust them. So one on the front, one on the back side, one on the two sides. Second option is that if you want to exactly uh, put your uh, like uh, this uh, split on the geometry, the second option that will be like, I will be doing the same. I will move them to the required geometry. Second option is that you can actually uh, select the edge. Uh, don't click on the middle mouse button because the middle mouse button will confirm selection and it will be splitted. Uh, go to the split method and click on the prescribed point. Okay. And then select this point here. Now this will be select exactly will be will be like a splitted on this location, okay? okay. So, uh, by mistake I put the another split here, so we should not be doing that thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we have the these uh, uh, two splits uh, uh, on do there's these two sides, and one two splits on the uh, like uh, upstream side downstream side. And one spread will be on the top. Okay. I will use the like uh, uh, the rough way of splitting them like this. Okay. 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 Now uh, I would recommend that you can turn off a display of vertices, right click on the edges also and uncheck the show association. Uh, we see okay. them when we see the when we have a problem in the mesh. So first thing we will check is the association. If the association is okay, like checking the arrow direction, so we can get the idea that we have the wrong association or correct association. If the association is correct, then we can like turn them off again, and we will see the problems in the other issues. The first issue that will come always is actually a association issue in the blocking in the ICM CLD. So first thing, like if you have any negative volume, the problem in the mesh quality. First thing is that right click on the edges and show association. If everything is all right, then you will have to look for the other problems. Okay. So turn yeah. off the association. Now I will just be working on the blocks which are here, this block. So I will click on the select corner. Second way is that you can actually move the these vertices like this. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, now this should be like in that direction, it should be from top. So this is like oh. a block we want to work on. Mm -hmm. And if you reset, all blocks will be displayed. So second option, which is much easier option is that you can select the two corners, like diagonal locations. Mm -hmm. Okay. This okay. can be these two ones. Okay. These can be these two ones. No problem, but diagonal should be there. Okay. So now we have these uh, two diagonal uh, blocks, edges, are, and one block is selected. Actually, now we have to move this block to the geometry. Okay. Okay. So how this can be done? Very easy. So I'm going to associate them to the vertex to the point. This will actually move my blocking as well. So I will associate uh, the bottom because this will go to the bottom point, not the top one. Similarly, the bottom oh. one will go here. Okay. Then on the like, and I would recommend that you can also turn off display of the like another edge so that we okay. can easily work on the bottom side. Okay. 
So I will now move this one to the here and this one here. Okay. So okay. now you can like display uh, this block again. So just play with the K index. Okay, now the height is okay. Height is okay here. Uh, but I want to adjust the uh, X and Y locations of these vertices. They should be on the same location as this one. So I will go to move vertices. And there is an option that is like a move look by location. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I will select the my reference vertex, which is this one. And also you can select even the point. Okay, so if the vertex is not there at the location, you can select the point also. But the vertex is there, I will go with the vertex. So I will adjust uh, like uh, X and Y. So modify X and Y okay. and for this vertex. Okay, okay. Uh, because this was already splitted on the geometry, it was like a very, uh, in a very proper way, but these were like a very offset from geometry. They require more modifications. So click on apply. Similar way, we have to like adjust the vertex here. And this one as well. Okay. So okay. now this is like a, somehow settled. Okay, now I will be like uh, putting this material into new ma new material type. So that material will be different from the fluid. So now this is like a, uh, we have like an intersection. Okay, like a cut operation. So now they will be representing two different materials. So if I hide that material from the screen here, I, if I delete that material, I don't delete them. People sometimes recommend that you delete them because I just want to keep them. In some cases, I need them back maybe. So uh, especially making the O grid around the body. I will tell you about, I, I told you about grid in the previous class also, but for that we need actually that those parts. So I will put them in some separate uh, boundary. Okay, some part. Okay. So click on, right click on the create part. So uh, this first option is actually for uh, creating parts for the geometries. Second option is that to create the parts from the uh, nearest location. The third option is that uh, to create part of the region. This can be from actually meshing also. But right now we are creating the part for the blocking. So this will go as a solid block. Okay, This is inside block. So I'm putting name as a solid. So this will be of different color. Now if you take a look on the blocks and display blocks and right click on the blocks and uh, make them not whole blocks. I mean they will be now of smaller size. Oh. So these are blocks right now with us. Uh, inside block, which is here, this is having different color. Okay. Okay. So this indicates that, and we don't need to actually put any 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 body here. This is like a different volumes, and they will represent the different uh, uh, domains here. And there is a common boundary that is surface of the our fuselage. So okay. that surface will also be appearing if you if you export these both meshes. The common surface will be there. So either you can make an interface or you can make it internal boundary, but that surface will be there. Okay. And, okay. Uh, but actually that surface will appear anyhow, because if you uh, like uh, hide this, uh, anything here that you hide from here, that will not be exported in the mesh, simple thing. So uh, this uh, body will actually will act as a, like a separate material. And once we hide them from here, they will not be exported for the meshing. So mesh will only appear on the surface of the this body here. Okay. Now again, okay. select corners. And uh, I need to make the few more splits here. So one split. Now I would use the prescribed point method. One split on this location. So that I can actually uh, capture this curvature. This, there are curvature here that I want to capture actually. So I will split here. I will split here as well. And I will split 
okay this is already split it uh do i get the split or not no i i'm not getting it so i you may i need to make select like the okay this is already done okay this is done but i cannot see it so uh let's try again and this point now you can see the edges also now you can see the edges also can you see edges here these ones can you see it if you not i will like uh, uh, change their size so like a blocking right click here and set line width right by default it's a one so i can let's say make it three okay so this is like extra edges this one and this one And on the back side, we have the extra blocks that we have to like uh, hide them. Okay, body is here. This is the body where we are actually making the our blocking, right? Okay. Okay, let's change the like uh, line width back to the normal. That is the one. And okay. Okay, now the task is that we have to like associate them to the corresponding geometry. Edges will go to the curves. If there's no edges, then the those vertices and edges will go to the surface. Okay. Okay, so height surface. And associate uh, these three edges to this mm. curve. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. And uh, associate these three edges to this curve. These three edges to this curve. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give you one more hint. That hint is that actually we can set them on the exact locations. So for that, that is I'm using for a long time. First, I will put the middle point of the curve. Okay. Uh, uh, now what I'm doing here now, I will tell you that actually this is like a half circle, this geometry. The full circle would be like this. It's not a perfect circle, but just see this is the full circle. Okay. So if I want to divide this into like a, like a five parts, like a, if this is a circle here. So I want to get the like a proper location here. Okay, now just make it like a half, like this case. Okay. Okay. Now, question is that when you had the full circle, this vertex was at the 45 degrees from this x axis, like, right? This was at the 45 degrees from here. This was also 45 degrees from here. This was also 45 degrees from there. But once we have like a half circle, then what you see here is maybe you are not realizing that thing, but actually it's the same thing actually. Okay. So okay. question is that now if you like the same spread is there, now where these points go, they should go on the same location. They should go on the same location. So previously, if I talk about in terms of the, uh, like, uh, like uh, if you say this curve is like equal to one, so uh, point one represents the ten percent of location. So if this was like a curve here, and uh, let's say I put the points on the middle locations, like at this point, this point, this point, and this point. Okay. Initially, I know about these points. So mm -hmm. I can put these points at the zero, ninety degrees, one eighty, two seventy. Now this point is a middle way of these two points, right? Mm -hmm. This is like a, if this is a, like a one curve, then this will be the point five of this curve length. Similarly, this point here is the 0.5 of this curve. Okay. okay. So uh, by default, the geometry, if you have the half geometry blocking will be like a different, it will be like a half size of the curve here. If this curve length is a two, then this will be like a one, this will be one. Actually this point should be like, a, if I take a look here, this point should be at the 0.25 location 
from okay. here point okay. from here but this thing we cannot actually do directly so what i'm going to do is that i am going to first make the point here 50 percent and then i will split the curve into two parts and it's half will be here it's half will be here so this is what i'm going to do here okay okay and when you associate the vertices on those locations this will be showing us the like a perfect uh, location okay perfect okay. location for these vertices so uh, same thing i will be doing here this curve also and then i will go to the like uh, my geometry uh, create modify curve and i will split the curve segment curve and actually if you split the curve and when you associate them again to the edges they will become a single curve in the groups so no matter okay. no this is not a problem so select the like uh, hide the this blocking here right now select the curve and then select the point okay you can see there are two different colors similarly okay. So now they become the two different curves here. Again, I will be doing the same thing. And now I will not split the like uh, edges here, uh, but curves here, because now I just needed these points uh, for adjusting my blocking. So once this is done, then there's no need to actually, again, further split the curves here, okay? So blocking, I will associate these uh, vertices on these points. Now they will be in the perfect shape from the blocking point of view. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Same thing goes here. So we have to like do the same thing here, and at the same time, you should be saving your work time, time and time again. Okay. So make a one point here. Split the curve. Make the point. Same procedure. Okay. Okay. So associate this vertex with this point and this vertex with this point. Now this uh, and this location we are doing same thing, but I will tell you different story here. So don't follow the same thing which is we are doing here here as well. This will be slightly different treatment. Uh, to to set location, we will we will be doing same thing exactly for setting locations. We'll do the same thing here. Okay. But okay. this will be dealt separately. This will be dealt in a different way. Okay. I will tell you that thing. So uh, segment curve. Sorry. It was on the wrong curve. Okay. This curve. Oh, okay. So maybe you're wondering that the how I know this thing, which curve is where. So because I have the lot of practice so i know which geometry is there but sometimes you may get confused so in that case rotate the geometry slightly and so that you can see the exact uh, geometry on the screen like this okay okay and if you have the problem like uh, they, they are very light colors then you can show the curve as a white also right click on the curve and show white okay but actually this this makes my eyes uh, like uh, uh they these are like very it's a too like a too thick here that this makes the problem for me. So I just make them a simple way. Okay. Sometimes maybe uh the making that the size wide for the point and curve they may change their visibility and make them better visible. Okay. Okay. So here uh what I'm gonna do is that I'm not going to associate these edges to the this these uh uh the curve here. Why? Because I this this is going to be actually a uh, a quarter sphere. So uh, on the quarter sphere, the mesh will go like in this way. Okay. So okay. the mesh will go in this way actually. Okay. If I okay. associate them, the mesh will go in this way, and this will make the low quality angles on this corner, you just see this thing, if the one edge, like it is going in this way. So uh, right now we get the elements like this shape, but here elements will have this shape. Okay, we disorder okay. elements. So that's why I will not associate the edges here because then, with, then they will project the mesh exactly on the curve. Mm -hmm. Okay, did you get the point? Yeah, I get it. But I actually, I put them on the like uh, exact location, but problem is that this exact location now, actually, I cannot move these vertices. When I associate them to the point, I cannot move them. See? Okay. I cannot move them. 
so uh, solution is that i will associate them back to the their corresponding geometry so right now i will be like uh, putting them on the uh, corresponding curve surface here so surface and select these two vertices okay now okay. see what what i mean by this thing actually i can now move them anywhere So here, if you take a look here, okay, select the surface. See? Mm -hmm. Okay, if you press right mouse button, this will again go back to the it's original geometry shape or location. Okay. And one more thing is you can actually fix the directions. Like you can fix direction by the some edge direction, uh, normal to surface, more, more dependent. You can try them. For example, if I fix the X location, now this will not move in the like uh, X location. X location is where? Uh, this is moving. Okay. Uh, it should not be moving actually. Uh, actually, I put the constraint the fix x, but it is moving actually. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, one minute. See, this what is I cannot move. Uh, now I can move it. Okay, anyhow, this was this is not working actually. It should have been like a no movement in the x direction. Anyhow. So uh, we associated them to the like a corresponding uh, surface. Uh, here, these vertices, they should also be flexible. So they should actually move to the corresponding curve. So I will associate these vertices to the curve. Okay. For okay. these type of circular geometries, you should not not, not move uh, like put them on the fixed location, but they should associate to the corresponding points uh, or the sorry curves. Similarly, you have to associate them again because we have splitted the curves. Okay, and same goes on the these edges. So they should go to the these curves. Okay, move backwards. Uh, sometimes maybe you have uh, like uh, selected the very few uh, edges, so you, you can select them again, and uh, like you can associate them again to the corresponding curves. Okay, like this. Mm -hmm. Clear? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but here we need to associate like uh, to the corresponding points here. So we are fixing the locations here actually for these locations because there's a change in the curvature. So I I just want to fix them here. Okay. Okay. But only for short uh, locations, not on like these circular ones. Okay. So here I will associate them to the corresponding curve. So they, they will be like limited to curve. They will not move uh, here and there. They will only move on the curve. For example, uh, if I like... Uh, If I want to move this vertex, 
uh, this can only move on the curve direction, not anywhere else. Oh, okay. So now on the bottom side, this is like, okay, this is not a problem. Uh, just confirm that everything is all right. No, this is not also all, all right here. So I need to associate the these edges again also. Uh, these are three edges. Okay, and also I need to associate them to the curve, these two vertices. And they should now change color to the green. So any association of the vertices to the curve will show you the green color. Here we should fix the, like uh, these ones with the corresponding points. And uh, this should also go to the curve. These these two should also go to the curve. We we will adjust their locations. Okay? okay. So these two should also go to the curve here. They should not be fixed ones because there's no uh, change of curvature. This is like a, this is a continuous curve here. Okay. 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 Now, uh, simply try to put the some uh, basic sizes. Uh, and that sizes you can actually put on the like. Uh, uh, from the mesh. Okay, we're not making the tetra meshing, but sizes you can put on the surfaces uh, by like parts by from there. This is much much easier way actually to make the sizes. So, for example, uh, if I show you size the surface here, this okay. surface uh, I will put size based on the some geometry, like uh, some geometry here. So that geometry can be like complete geometry length, or let's say I want to put the at least uh, ten cells here. So length of geometry is five. So if I divide the five by the 10, the size would be the 0.5, right? Okay. Size would be 0.5, okay? So uh, I will go to the uh, mesh and uh, second option is the part mesh setup. And uh, I'm going to put the size for the body as a 0.5. So this is not mm -hmm. a final size, but this will give you initial descent size, okay? Okay. Uh, in a similar way, for example, the my this geometry has a size of this much, approximately uh, eighteen twenty two. So let's say I want to put the size of uh, like uh, like a hundred elements across the length. So eighteen hundred divided by hundred elements. This will make the size at eighteen. So I'm going to put size eighteen on symmetry and the inlet and outlet. So in this initial size, actually, we will adjust the sizes inside the like a pre mesh and the blocking. So this mesh size will give you the initial like a descent size. Okay. Apply. And save your project file. Okay. So question okay. is that, uh, how do you see the sizes? Actually, it's very simple. Uh, display these surfaces, okay? And right click on the surface and click on uh, show sizes. Here is the tetra size and hexa sizes. Right now it's going to be hexa meshing, so I will show you the hexa sizes. So okay. these sizes, you can see here, these sizes of elements will be there. This much size will be there. Uh, on the body, the size is smaller. This much size will be there. Okay. This is initial size. And this will give you some descent sizes on your on your blocking. Okay. So I will go to the pre-mesh parameters. And uh, first is that update all. So this will actually transfer the my sizes from the meshes from the part mesh setup to the blocking. Okay. So apply. And it shows you like a very, very high number of cells, but it's okay. Uh, like a very high hexas. And uh, no, this is like a very, very huge number and not okay. Okay. So okay. I will go back to the mesh and let's make them like uh, 100. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. This made the problem here. This made the problem. So let's make it like uh, 20. Uh, outlet was size, size at the one that, that made the problem. So make it also this one as a 20. Apply and apply here. So now this is like a decent size. Uh, 5 dx 25125. This is like a 
decent size, you can like display pre mesh. So okay. you cannot see the sizes on the outside because the blocking is only uh, visible to the geometry. If you reset, uh -huh. you can see the mesh, mesh oh, okay. here. Okay. Uh, right now we have the many problems here. This is the block because of, because yeah. we didn't adjust the blocking on the outside still uh, after splitting. So we have to adjust them. So right now we have the some decent sizes. Okay. And this uh -huh. is a division we are getting on the blocking outside. So that's nice. Now, question is that what is going to be size on the blocking itself? Actually, I was talking about this thing. You can see that yeah. uh, this shape should follow the geometry here. That's why I didn't fix the situation here. Now it's following the curvature. So if you change the like uh, some mesh sizes here, this will even much, it will improve a lot, okay? So okay. you can make it five frame. And right now size is like a six. So let's make it 10. And this one, let's make it 20. Because this is double size than the, uh, these, end, these two edges. And other edge, because this is like uh, in the hexa meshing, the, these are corresponding parallel edges. So even we didn't like uh, show you the, like uh, you can copy parameters, but copy parameters will only copy the parameter like the sizing, but number of sales will be same on the two sides. Okay. Number of size will be okay. same on the two sides. Number of sales cannot be different in the hexa meshing on the corresponding parallel edges. So after refinement, this is like uh, the mesh you will be seeing. Okay, this looks like a very, actually very nice uh, initial mesh. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to like a stop here. Okay. And we start again on the Monday. But Monday I will complete and then we will start from your geometry on the Tuesday. That's okay? Okay. Okay. See you then on the Monday. Okay, see you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Have a nice weekend.